All right, what's happening y'all? Today I wanna to go over just one of the easiest ways to scale and clean small fish. So you can do this with sand bass, you can do it with crop, you could do it with largemouth, you could do it just about anything as scales. So you're not gonna to wanna to do it on your, you know, your catfish, trout, anything like that. But anything with scales, this works great. So this is a technique that I actually saw from a channel called CJ's Bait Co. So I think CJ actually makes these things. He does a really nice job so if you want a nicer version of this, go buy one from him. But if you just want to kind of DIY it like I do, pay attention. I'm going to show you what I make and how I use it. So this is just a piece of oak that I had sitting around in my garage. So all I did was use it in the size that it was. It actually had a nice little taper to it. But you don't have to use oak. You could use a piece of pine, piece of birch, whatever. Just in general, a hardwood is better for making any kind of tool than a piece of pine would be. But even if you have a piece of pine, it would still work. So all I did was take this piece of oak and then just take a knife and just kind of chisel off these hard corners just to make it a little bit more rounded. Not totally round, it's still more square than anything else. But I just, just took off the hard edges and then sanded it with 100 grit and then uh, I think 320, just a little bit. You know, if you wanted to make this fancy, you could really go at it, but for me, I'm just trying to get something that's comfortable to hold and use. Now, because I am using this around water and around fish slime and all that stuff, I did oil it so that it will repel water and not just soak it up like a sponge. So, standard woodworking fair, you'd use boiled linseed oil, mineral oil, something like that. But because I'm using this around food, believe it or not, I just used olive oil. Probably not the best thing to use for this, but you know what? It works. It's going to repel that water and it's safe to use around food. So avocado oil, canola oil, anything like that probably works fine too, but I just used regular old olive oil. Now we're just going to drill two little pilot holes. No need to go deep. Now, I already punched holes in these bottle caps. This is from just a Shine or Light Blonde, kind of one of my go-to, but obviously you can use whatever the heck you want. And then I'm just going to take a small screw. These are actually countersunk. If you could use just a regular head screw, it'd probably be a little bit better. So I'm going to just find my hole in the, the bottle cap. Find the hole in the wood. And just crank her down. Ooh. Careful holding that because it's sharp and it's going to start spinning on you. But that's all you're doing. Now we're going to do the other one. Well, I actually screwed it up. <laughs> I split the end of this because I didn't drill my pilot hole far enough. See? That's why if you just want it quick and easy, go buy one from CJ. But I'm going to try it again here. Alright, last time I think I didn't drill my pilot hole quite far enough, and then I also kept cranking on it, and that's why I split it. But, now, we're back in action. So, this is nothing more than a handle to hold on to, and then some nice scalloped edges to scrape the fish with. And these grab the scales really well, and they don't send them flying nearly as much as using a knife or a fork or even the open end of a spoon. So, that's the tool. Now let's look at how to use it. So this is a white bass I caught yesterday, or a sand bass as everybody calls them down here in Texas. Um, so caught this guy yesterday, then he's been sitting in the ice, so he's very firm, a little bit slimy, but he's still nice and fresh. So you could just scale this in your kitchen. Just go at it with a scaler, but these scales are gonna fly everywhere. So if you wanna keep your wives, your girlfriends, your mama, anybody else who's in your kitchen, you wanna keep people happy, don't make a mess and send fish scales all over the place. So you could go out in the garage or out on your back porch, something like that, or you could stay in the kitchen and put it in a bucket of water. You do that and these scales aren't gonna go flying everywhere. So this is pretty intuitive, pretty easy to use. You just get the rough ends of this and work 
up against the scales of the fish and you'll see they come right off. Look at that. All our scales are already down there in the bottom of the bucket. They're not flying anywhere. They're not making a mess. And I'm just barely, barely rubbing against this guy. It's like a toothbrush. You just rub it down and you'll notice it's not tearing up the fish. All it's doing is just taking the scales right off. Nice and easy. So if you have to do a lot of fish, this is a fantastic tool to do it. Just keeps it nice and simple. And now obviously with any fish, be careful of those spines, especially if you're working this way. You can stab yourself on the spines and honestly you're more likely to do that than to cut yourself with this tool or hurt yourself any other way. So it's that simple and we're pretty much done here. It's a nice, slick, well there's a few scales, there we go. They just kind of sloughed right off. So there you go. There is your easy tool and how to use it. Hope this comes in handy next time you go out there and catch a mess of fish.